25 years ago for my 25th anniversary for Donna. And uh, I'm going to do it again tonight, 25 years later. I'm just going to change the 25 to 50. <laughs> Because there's still so much of you yet to love. Fifty years is just not enough. It's the tip of the iceberg. It's the preliminary. It's the very last time with you. Because there's still so much of me. into five decades and I'm going to take every decade and write down everything I've done and we've done and accomplished in those five decades. Well after about five or six pages put of stuff I said holy did we ever do a lot in those 50 years. Yeah. Even though it felt like it was just a short period of time it's a long time and it's a lot of stuff that you can get done and I'm pretty proud of us for what we've accomplished. Thank you. But the day after we got married, we were driving on to our honeymoon and we were come, coming out of Brandon and we got maybe 50 or 60 miles down the road and I realized I had to gas up. Pulled into the gas station, gassed up and got out. Away I'm going and Donna says, you're going the wrong way. You're going back the way we came. I said, no I'm not. What are you talking about? Pretty soon I started seeing signs on the road. Oh, geez, you know, you're right. That's when I realized the left-handed person knows their bearings better than a right-handed person. And a left-handed person is always right. Remember that. A couple of, a couple of weeks ago, we were finishing up our dinner and we're sitting down to watch TV and the Wheel of Fortune show was on. And I'm telling Donna all about my day, and she yells out, get to the point. I said, okay, 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 get to the point. She says, no, that was the phrase. I just got the phrase on the Wheel of Fortune. I said, oh, honey, the contestant didn't even get it. What, what have you won? She said, well, they pulled the cards at $37,000. I said, you've got to go on this show. But just a minute here, you didn't hear anything I was saying. 
just said, no, no, I can get the phrase and listen to you at the same time. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, what was I saying? Huh? She said, do you remember what you were saying? Uh, yeah, what was I saying? So the rest of the night we went around and I said, get to the point. <laughs> so we, Donna and I have had a lot of fun being married because you all have to understand something. It's not, marriage is not just a romantic adventure. It's a partnership for life. And you have to take your life and join it with another life. And make that one life. And that takes a lot of patience, a lot of tolerance, a lot of trust, and a lot of respect. And so from our experience, we want to just pass that on to all of you, that if you work hard, you can do what we've done, and accomplish a lot together, and make each other's life as one. Spoons, otherwise, we'll eat it all. We can use our fingers, you know. No, don't use your. <gasps> What's he doing? Hey! Go, uh -oh. I'm not going to sing, but I'm going to say a couple words. First of all, I'd like to propose a toast to my brother Reg and his lovely wife Donna on 50 years of wedded bliss. My brother Reg was a really good brother to me. He would walk or ride bike with me to school each day at grade one and two and make sure I got there safe and sound. Couldn't have been much fun for him, but he did it. I can also remember him making five lunches for all of us kids. Being the oldest, Reg had a lot of responsibility. Reg is a Pisces. He's a dreamer, but he is also a doer. And that's why he has done so well in life. Reg introduced me to Guy for the first time. Reg was the manager of the Footsteps, the band Guy was in at the time, and I was attending grade 7 at High Bluff School. And the Footsteps were playing at the community hall for a dance that night. This meeting led to a little rendezvous in the ditch with me, Joan Nickel, Guy, and Barry Johnson, but didn't go any further. Guy and I got together maybe six or seven years later and then got married. Um, Donna, oh wait, okay, now, <laughs> let me just get here. Reg also introduced me to Donna for the first time when I met her. What a doll. Beautiful inside and out. Donna is an Aquarius born on the same day as me. We are very much alike, get along really well right from the start. Donna worked hard while Reg completed university and med school. He graduated in 1977 and then specialized in family medicine. During these years, they had their son Stephen in 1976 and Scott in 1978. Reg and Donna are great parents and Donna's hard work as a mother and wife helped Reg to establish his practice in Long Beach, California. We are all so lucky that Reg and Donna moved there and were so hospitable to all of us, inviting us and our friends to stay with them. You always felt, felt welcome in their home. Thank you for this. Congratulations, Reg and Donna, on your golden wedding anniversary, and here's to many more years of wedded bliss. Love you guys. Sure you did. Thank you know, you uh, yeah. having been recently married myself, I know what it takes to uh, sustain a, a marriage, and I know that it takes a lot of love and commitment and understanding, and uh, just, you know, you being the eldest, Reg, um, you kind of set the bar for the whole family on uh, commitment and showing that, you know, the love and respect that you have for each other, you know, it, it's kind of the glue that keeps the family together. So I want to say that I'm just very grateful 
for you all. I think, you know, it's a testament to the whole family that you guys are all still together. And uh, you've shown this next generation what it, what it takes to, to have a successful marriage. So I want to say that I just appreciate you both and uh, I'm very happy for you on your 50 years. Okay, this song's called uh, Dear Sweet Jubilee. He wrote this for you. Jubilee and, uh, right now. This is yeah, it's our it's our favorite song. We're, property. Yeah, we work on this one. Favorite property. Jubilee referring There's to. There's a lot more lyrics that can come. To it's our favorite know. property. Yeah, it's our yeah, favorite yeah, property. Yeah, yeah.
Snowmen, this life, share our dreams and goals, the direction that we're heading. We don't need to know, yes, staying in the present takes from my control, so we we'll bring ourselves to nature. Notice it unfolding. Me and my baby were picking flowers in the park. Me and my baby were picking flowers in the park. Reflecting on a place in this beautiful world, sir, personally significant, get out of our control. The passing of time and of perceptions, together we surrender to annihilation. And me and my baby were picking flowers in the fall. Me and my baby were picking flowers in the fall. Another verse, meditative state is achievable through letting go of deadlines. Regrets and goals, it don't take us long, take long to cherish this connection to each other, recognize its best while me and my baby were picking up, hey, that one's a guitar. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Me and my baby were picking flowers in the park. Avery, nice! Wow! Hey! My lips are so dry now! <laughs> How many you got there? Two. Six, got four reds and five creams. Okay, we got nine oh. each then. Well, that's a black that I'll put to the side. And then we have nine each. So you're a red and cream. Okay. Oh, careful. I had a mosquito on my foot and I was...
Careful on those rocks. What about my toads? A deep affection for these toads. Yeah, I just caught another one. Eric caught it first. Yeah. Yeah, but I put it in the bucket. There's a sweet uh, green frog, like the leopard frog, they call it, in the women's bathroom. Yeah. And I like it because it doesn't stay on your hand like like river sand will around here. <laughs> I just kidding. Really small kind of wings, though. Cory's just so young that 